Hey guys, um, in, this in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you about um, applying uh, textures like pictures that you get of brick and that off the internet onto your objects in Cinema 4D and um, how to make them look the best. Alright, um, let's make a cube. And I'll first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna create a material obviously so double click in your materials tab or file new material either one works double click on your material to edit it and come into the color the color tab here if you look under brightness there's something that says texture and then there's an arrow if we click on that arrow click on load image and it'll bring you up to your pictures I have all my materials in a folder these are all my materials that I use I'm gonna grab a picture called my high resolution brick so I googled brick texture and then I got um, an image that was high in resolution so like 1000 and up so it looks the best and you can see it applies it onto my um, sphere here and to make it look even better if we go click that little arrow again and go copy channel if I come here there's a bump if I check that and then I go to that arrow in the bump tab and I go paste and I bring that all the way to a hundred percent you can see my picture gets more bumpy and now if we put that onto our um, to our object, you can see it. It looks pretty good, but it kind of every single side it kind of just changes. So you can either change it to cubic, and then go seamless. So it doesn't change at all. Actually, I know why. We need to make it. I'll show you. I'll just take off what I did. If we don't have seamless checked, you can see that every single um, square of the picture, it stops and it restarts the picture. So if we check seamless, you can see right away how it, it doesn't, there's no um, instant change. It goes and then what Cinema 4D does is it mirrors the image. So you can see it's going to this brown brick and then it goes and it goes. Well, it goes and it goes and goes. Yeah, all right, that explains a lot. But it, right here, you can see this is where the mirror begins. And then it goes up to here, mirror begins, goes up to here, mirror begins. But you don't really notice that. Um, I'll show you a project that I used, um, uh, seamless textures for. I made this project and you can see the brick on the wall you can see when it mirrors because if I didn't have um, if I didn't have my seamless on it would it just changes it's because we have to go in here I'm confused oh this is the wrong building I just made a fool of myself. Look at when we uncheck seamless, you can see just brick, 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 picture, 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 picture. And if we check seamless, it kind of makes it look like one brick wall. Exploding pipes. But yeah, you can even see I did it for the rust texture. These are a whole bunch of different pictures, but you can see this is an object and then this is another object. <clears throat> but you can see everything, the picture goes smoothly throughout the whole entire um, little uh, metal cage that protects the pipe. And to do this, you just need to put all your objects in a null object and then put the texture on the null object and it'll apply it to everything. It's a little tip. 
Um, but yeah, uh, back to my other file here for texturing. Um, another one is if we go grab a text spline. This only works with text splines, it's not mole objects. I don't know why. But if we go and we grab an extrude nerve, place the text in the extrude nerve to make it 3D. Um, let's see. Let's name this tutorial. And let's pick an awesome font. Uh, hmm. Oh, I got a good one. All right. It's going to add some depth to this. And perfect. Now, if we click on the extrude object and we go into caps and we add fill it cap and fill it cap. And if you go down here to, to fill it type and you go engraved, the, one of the text goes into the other. And if I'm pretty sure if we make it editable, I learned this a long time ago and I'm just trying to remember what one it was. Hmm. All right. Oh yeah, here it is. All right. Yeah, and if you make it editable, if we create more uh, another object, I'm just going to pick a picture here. Another shortcut instead of clicking there and load image, you can just click the little button with the three little dots. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to grab um, the steel texture here that I have. And I'm just going to change the color to a dark, dark gray and I'm going to bring the mix strength down so it's going to turn my material um more you turn it down more it's going to be the same color that you put it as and um and then i'm going to apply this to inside my object the inside of my text as you can see it's not very does not look like my picture looked at all all right, so if we come into here, it's on spherical. You want to change it to cubic, and then I'm going to change it to seamless. And bam, looks much, much better. And then for the outside, we can make, let's try to find a nice picture for the outside. And this is, and you can do, um, and I'll teach you another way for applying um, textures onto the caps of your objects. Just gonna grab a quick material. Uh, let's grab marble. Marble doesn't really have any bump onto it, so I don't have to add it to the bump texture. And then I'm gonna go cubic and seamless. And see, we can apply it to different parts of the text by doing it that way. Another way to apply textures onto different parts of your text, this is kind of completely out of the tutorial, but whatever. Um, if you have caps on your object, like that, um, we just create a normal object, or a normal material, or whatever. So let's make it red, and then I'll have one. We'll make two more. One will be greenish and then the other one will be pink purple all right so now if we apply all three textures to our material and we render it we only see the last texture but let's say we wanted red to be the caps and then we wanted so then well if you want red to be your caps Come in, click on your texture on the object, come in under selection, and then click con, uh, hold shift to make a capital R, and then click one. And you can see now, um, you see that the caps of our objects are red. 
but the back is not red. To do that, to make the back red also, you click and drag another material and you change it to R2. R1's the front, R2's the back. If we render it now, um, it's because you gotta move that there, that there. All right, now if we render it, we can see um, the red caps, and then it's purple. But let's say we wanted purple to only be the front of the objects. C1 is the front of the object. So now if we render it again, green is on the outsides, purple is on the insides, and red is on the caps. That's just a cool little way of um, texturing your text objects. But yeah, for when you're making, uh, coming back to the putting textures into materials, um, you can change the color to whatever you want and then um, change the mix strength. But um, if your material is a bumpy material, then put it in the bump uh, placement tab. If it's not, then don't. Well, you don't have to, you can if you want to. But yeah, it's just little tricks. And um, you gotta, when you put it on to your object, you just gotta watch because um, you can see as I make my cube bigger here, the picture just gets bigger. And if there's a, if you click on your material, there's a whole bunch of different projections like um, cylindrical, then there's flat, uh, there's cubic, which flat and cubic look the same, but look at the top of the object between the two. Um, and then there's UAV mapping, which is, there's frontal, there's, I don't even know how to pronounce that, UAV mapping, um, shrink wrap, and then camera mapping. So yeah, I use cubic, and then I click seamless, and it gives me the best look. You just gotta play around the projections to see which one's the best for your object, and, uh, yeah. Just another short tutorial, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, comment, comment like it subscribe if you're not and um leave any comments if you got any questions and yeah see you guys in the next tutorial